Hello everyone, let's talk a little bit about attack dice in Too Many Bones. Your attack stat is the number of attack dice you have available to roll each turn. So in this case, Boomer has one attack dice that I can continue to roll during gameplay as I want to on my turn. Each attack die costs one dex to roll in battle, so when deciding what you want to do, essentially think of your dexterity as a bank in which you decide how you want to spend your dice rolls. Not only dice rolls, but movement on the battle mat. This dexterity not only allows you to roll a combination of dice between your attack and defense, but also some skills. So there's lots of options in terms of how you want to spend your dexterity, but essentially dexterity will allow you up to three different dice to roll of any combination you choose, as long as you're rolling up to three, or you can use one dex to actually move a position on the battle mat. Again, position wise, you can only move orthogonally, so you can only move like this or like this, you cannot move diagonally. Now, let's talk a little bit about uh, attack training attempts. So let's say hypothetically that you went through an encounter and succeeded and got a training point and wanted to spend it on upgrading your attack. You would take a look at your uh, starting stat, which is one, and then you take a look at your stat die in that pocket, and if there happened to be one, you'd add it to that and roll that many attack dice. So in this case, there's only attack one, so we're only rolling one dice. Now I would roll this, and if I land, uh, a bone, well, things happen. If I don't, then I'm successful. So I'm trying not to hit a bone. So let's say hypothetically I rolled and I landed a one. If I did this, I successfully trained my attack. And I would then take a stat die and add it into my attack. So now on a future turn, I could use, when I'm using my turn, I have up to three dice I could, I could possibly roll, as well as not forgetting that I can also spend a dexterity to move on the battle mat, or all of my dexterity to move on the battle mat. Uh, but essentially, I could now roll two attack dice when I do attack. So it is very powerful, but again, comes from however much dexterity I have. So let's say hypothetically again that I get another training point from another encounter. Obviously, it wouldn't be the same one I just did, but just as an example, you'd have two attack dice now here, meaning that if I wanted to train this again, I'd have to roll two dice now, one coming from the stat dice and one from the attack. I'd have to roll these and not land a bone. If I roll them like I just did, this would actually increase my stat again and I could bump this up to two. Let's say hypothetically that I then again want to roll in a future uh, encounter phase that I want to bump up my attack stat again. Then I'd be at this time rolling three to try to not get a bone. And then when a bone actually does occur, if it's considered unsuccessful, there's no stat increase and you must spend the training point elsewhere. So that's where you could decide to revert and change your mind to uptick your dexterity because it's always a success. You could uptick your health as we spoke about because that's always a success. Um, but you would not be allowed to spend it again in the attack spot. You'd have to spend it elsewhere in one of the other three areas. Now, attack dice must have a target before they are rolled. So yes, let's say hypothetically I have three dice available to me, but I have to actually pick a target on the battle mat first. So if there were multiple baddies, I'd have to choose which one I'm actually rolling against. And in this case, if I have a dex of three and it was the beginning of my turn, I could technically use all three of my decks to roll three attack dice, hoping to put as much damage onto this guy as possible. If I rolled something like this, I can then automatically use any bones rolled to be put into my backup plan. And of course, any damage that I get from swords totals up and goes against the actual damage for the baddie itself too. So in this case, I would end up killing off the baddie with relative ease. So as I, I described, as you go through and acquire bones in your backup plan, also note that no matter in future rounds, if I decided again that I wanted to attack and I roll dice, if I acquire any future bones, they can still be put in here and will never ever count against my total decks. Backup plan dice or bones, I should say, that are sitting in this row will never ever reduce the amount of dice that you can actually roll.